Hey, this is Bob from the Five Acre Woods. Just doing a little update with our breast chickens here. These guys are getting bigger. We got them on March 27th as little chicks, and they're getting bigger and bigger. We have plans for them. We're going to move this cage again to another location. We were going to keep it here, but it looks more like it. we're going to have to put it over there because we want to run an outdoor run for them on this side of the cage. This door will be modified somehow. We'll let them out and it will be like a tunnel, not closed off at the top like you can't see them or something in between the, the crows of, of a rooster. The, if you can imagine this being over there, and this here being open to a certain extent with a fence coming out this way and this way, about three feet wide, maybe four feet. And we'll come down. It'll be behind it. It'll be behind this tree. And it will go as big around eventually not right away because we had to get enough fencing to do that but we're probably going to go about 50 feet at a time maybe only 25 no 50 feet around and th and around this way here until it's all enclosed until this whole area is enclosed this has to do a lot of clean up we had to do a lot of clean up here because this was our garden area before And anyway, as we walk this way, this area here will all be cleared. I'll brush this off. I'll take my tractor, which is not a very big one, and I'll drag it with this kind of a makeshift piece that I made to drag the driveway with, but it'll help to rough this up a little bit, make it look a little more neater. And in the middle here will be garden area. All in this area not right away of course but if it's all clear and this is not where the chickens would be they would be in like a tunnel coming around this way and this way and until it's all the way around to as big as we want a garden in the middle so we'd have access to come inside and grow whatever we want to grow now there's some involuntary plants in here this is one i don't know what this is i'm going to wait to see but that's growing Looks like some sort of a squash plant. Another plant we'd grow in here are pumpkins. Now this this will not stay here. Uh, and this morning we had a a snake visitor that my wife discovered. Um, and she did not welcome it well because it kind of surprised her. Um, but it was underneath of a cover on top of a compost pile that we're making. And he was under there sleeping. He wasn't very active. He didn't jump or nothing. But it was a rat snake. It wasn't, it's not a poisonous snake. We have all kinds of things that have grown in our yard. Trying to get off subject of, su subject of our breast chickens, but, but while we're here, and I have no idea what this is, I cut this tree down because it was one of these. We had no idea. Look at the size of these leaves. They're gigantic. If anyone knows what this is, please <laughs> tell me because it gets some of the weirdest uh, looking seeds on it too. And now it just grew back and I just cut this down about two months ago and none of this was here. That's how aggressive this plant is. This thing is well over 15 feet tall and it's growing very quickly and more are coming on the way. <laughs> but anyway, Back to our breast chickens. I haven't done a video on our property for a while and we're changing a lot of stuff. We're in the middle of tearing stuff up and getting rid of stuff. And today I'm gonna to have a burn and uh, because we can't get rid of our stuff fast enough in this town. We only get one bulk day trash day where I could take stuff out and I do, but you can't even take that much out to them and they, they only take so much. 
no construction, like none of this wood. They wouldn't take any of this wood, and they wouldn't they wouldn't take any metal. But what they take is like uh, an old piece of furniture, rugs, you know, any kind of thing, things that go along with that. So anyway, this is going to be garden area. We're going to raise these breast chickens, and we are going to. I'll show you these roosters, which are extremely good size, like this one here. We're going to probably keep him, this guy. And the other three, we're going to, we're going to raise them the way they want you to raise, well, they suggest you raise these breast chickens like. You take, okay, okay, I'm talking now, all right? You take whatever amount you have. Now we only have like three to work with, and one of our neighbors wants one of our our roosters, which we're glad to give them because we trade stuff back on the fourth all the time. So we'll have two, and we're going to separate them out, and we're going to. I'll show you. I'll, I, I may cut this walking out, back and forth. Cut this out of the video, but then again, we have so much to do. Uh, we had a little emergency yesterday. My daughter had to go to the hospital for a couple of days, but she's back now. Anyway, this is usually what we're using for uh, our rabbits when we when we raise the rabbits. Now this guy is not a eating rabbit. He's a he's a pet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out of here and put him in a smaller cage, which is not that small, but this is too big for him. And we're going to put the, the two breast chickens in here. And while they're in here, they got to go into a darkened place. And I'm too ashamed of my shed to show you where they're going to go, but I'm going to put them in there. They have to be kind of a dark. It doesn't have to be dark. It doesn't have to be dark. It has to be just darkened, kind of not where you don't get a whole lot of sunlight. And we feed them a mixture of their regular feed. And let me, let me get back here. Oh, the sunlight, it is so bright. What we're going to do, we're, we're going to uh, give them a mixture of their regular feed and raw milk. And it's a mixture, kind of like, a, kind of looks like oatmeal when you're, when you're done. You feed these, these roosters, these two. If you have more, you got to make more, but enough for them to eat for about two weeks. And you mix this raw milk with their feed let it sit overnight before you give it to them and it gets all into like this like a slurry of the, the food some people put other things in it um like cracked corn but i'm not going to i don't think i don't really believe in cracked corn too much if someone knows more about it then my wife says it's like it's like grit for them or something like that but anyway it's they eat that and you want them to consume as much of this milk this raw milk as possible you don't use processed milk you don't use you can use any kind of raw milk uh, it doesn't matter what kind of raw milk it is. Uh, they they prefer you to use, uh, I guess, like raw cow's milk. But anyway, <clears throat> and, and it gets into their system. It gets into their meat, and it kind of marbleizes their meat. And from what I understand, they say it's some of the best that you've ever had as far as chickens go. Someone wrote in and wanted to do a, a, an update on on these guys. And as you can see back here, We've had a lot of rain, and it is their cages are a mess. I'm trying to get them dried out, and when, once it's dried out enough, I'll put some fresh straw in there. But these guys are all going to eventually go. We're down to five. We had ten. They're slowing down their production way down. It's been way down. We used to get so many eggs, we couldn't. We were giving them away so fast, but now they've their production's way down. It's summertime, and they should be producing a lot more, but they're not. And as they die off, I'm not going to buy any more of these chickens. Although, if you want these chickens, they get them from, we get them from Tractor Supply. My wife knows the, uh, the name of these, these guys. I don't remember. But anyway, they were about $4 a piece. I bought them during COVID, and they were Tractor Supply's last chickens, and they didn't get any more in for a couple of years. And they were the best egg layers. They're extremely friendly. You can treat them as pets. Now, this rooster here is not one of them. He, this is one of the ones we got from our neighbor, like I mentioned before. 
and we bred these guys and this is what we got <laughs> now we're going to keep these for as long as we can and they'll lay eggs they're 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 real sweet chickens real nice and um we'll keep them as long but we're going to as they die off we're not going to replace them we're only going to go with our our breast chickens here these guys um they need more area though they are very very active foragers and they're just beautiful chickens and they grow fast the maturity rate is uh, 16 weeks whereas these other guys you're talking like four months is that, is that 16 weeks what time? yeah it's 16. more than that their maturity rate is like seven to eight months before they get to full maturity you may get an egg or two now so far we haven't gotten an egg out of these guys i haven't seen any eggs but what can happen sometimes is that they can lay an egg a small egg and they'll eat their own eggs and back here is their their back area and out front here we have a tarp that i put up here to keep them cool because it's been so so hot but yesterday we got a lot of rain but it was still muggy this is where we found the snake this morning my wife found anyway we're making our own compost here so i meant this to be just an update on the breast chickens but kind of uh <laughs> Kind of bled over to uh, a little tour of the farm uh making a lot of changes we used to have these beds see these beds we used to have these everywhere out here and we had a greenhouse or two greenhouses out there like temporary one you know like not not like uh ones that are permanent but uh you can't see but that was one of the covers to it we took it down today and the other day and that was the pile of the metal that it was and over here too and over here was a greenhouse so we're changing everything and it drives me crazy because it's so hot out here i i can only work out here for a certain amount of time and once it gets so hot i i, I can't do much it, it's just not healthy and uh so we kind of take it slow in the fall we can do a lot more hopefully next month it won't be as hot as this month but maybe you never know predictions are that our world is changing and i'm not a tree hugger and i'm not a climate fanatic uh, i just believe that god has made this world the way he made it and it changes on its own we can't do one thing to hurt it in a way it's changed permanently and even if we did we don't have the ability to fix it only god can but just imagine for a minute, if everyone just stopped doing everything, all the plants would take over. This world is not dead, believe me. The plants would take over, the bugs would take over. We are here to keep our land the way we want it. We keep it clean as possible. We try to make our changes neatly. And we are as much a part of this world as any other animal. That's my soapbox. We have every right to be here, no matter what some would say. But anyway, that's about it for the update on the, the breast chickens. Okay, that's it for now. We're going to be doing some more videos on some other things we plan to do around the, the, uh, the homestead here. One is going to be, another one I forgot to mention is uh, we're going to be, whoops. Hmm. Back here, our greenhouse, the back of our greenhouse, we're going to be putting these barrels and a few more for, for water catchment. And uh, we're going to do all that. We appreciate everyone who comments. A big shout out to Tater Farms. Thank you for your comments. I hope this update helps. And uh, we're just a couple older folks here trying to make, make it through along with other people who are of our same age or younger, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, commenting. Thanks for the subscribers. We need subscribers like crazy. Please subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. Thumbs up, comment, 
and I know everybody will make a good comment. If you have a constructive comment, please make it constructive, not cruel, because I'm not perfect. Uh, that tree I mentioned back there, look at the video inside. If someone can tell me what it is, um, I my son is a tree guy, but he's not always easy to get a hold of. I may send him a picture and find out what he thinks it is, but it is a very unusual tree. Somehow it got here, and um, I don't want to cut it down if it's a special tree. I think it's pretty cool looking, actually. I'm kind of sorry I cut down that great big tree, but it's grown back. And um, anyway, um, give us a thumbs up. Give us uh, share our videos with whomever it is that you share videos with. Make sure, <laughs> make sure my microphone's on. It's a new microphone. And one time, I other video I did uh, earlier, uh, it, it, it cut out a little bit. But it, it wasn't because the the um, the receiver part of it's bad. It's because my my iPhone connection down there maybe need to be may need to be cleaned a little bit. But anyway, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.